bright and early Tuesday morning, and I have come to Emile's workshop. Here we are. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And today we're going to change the back end of this frame because this is set up for a mullet. So 27.5 in the back, 29 in the front. So there we have a brand new 329 rear end. And we're going to put that on there because that's better for the next race. And it means we can then go and win. Time to get the kit on and head to the trails. It's another sunny day in paradise, so I'm quite looking forward to this testing session. Let's go. Hey dude! Hey dude! Everything that okay? Muy bien! Bike's feeling good! Fabulous! Bumped up! Let's go! Whoa! Not good! Muchas gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Chao. Two laps down, bike's feeling great. We had to change some tire pressures, but other than that, suspension's fine. The braking as well needed to get those up to temperature because the bike's been sat for a while, so the brakes get really greasy, and you might find when you take your bike out and it's like, you get those horrible trumpet noises. It's just because the bike's been sat and the residue builds up on the disc and the pads. So you get them up to temperature, two laps in, mine's feeling fantastic. But now it's time for the serious thing. It's coffee o'clock. Real Dutch coffee. Real Dutch coffee in Spain with an Englishman. That makes no sense whatsoever. Everyone's got their sponsorship deals on food and snacks. I have got the best option when it comes to mid-trail snack in this tin foil. It's my mum's flapjack. I love flapjack. This thing, I could live off of it. And especially before a race run or doing another training run. What do you reckon, Emil? You want some flapjack? Yeah, I'll give me some one, yeah. Here we go.
Whoa! How did I get away with that? Mission complete. Now, sandwich time. Off to the bar. Bocadillo. <laughs> Bocadillo. Pollo con tomate. Pechuga. Haha. See what he said. 